In this episode, let's explore as to how to print the first non-repeated character present in the input string. Well, in my previous episode, we have seen how we can print all the non-repeated characters present in the input string. But in this case, I am not supposed to print all the non-repeated characters. Rather, I should print the first non-repeated character. Anyway, just two changes to my program of the previous episode would give me the program of this episode. What are those two changes and how to write the program? Let's explore. Let me consider my input string as silly spiders. Well, you can notice that in my input string, there are a lot of repeated characters. S is repeated thrice, I is repeated twice and L also is repeated twice. And if you will ask me, which is the first non-repeated character, then Y is the first non-repeated character. And what I am supposed to do is to write a program which prints the first non-repeated character, which means the output of my program has to be Y. And who helps me in writing the program? Well, it's the map data structure. How? Let me explain. Even before I tell you how the map data structure helps us, let us first decide which map data structure to use. You know that Java supports three types of maps, the hash map, the linked hash map and the tree map. Anyway, when I place my data silly spiders inside the hash map, this is how it looks. And when I'll place it inside the linked hash map, this is how it looks. And when I'll place it in the tree map, this is how it looks. And which of these three should I be using to solve this problem? Well, even before I go ahead and tell you which of these three that I'm supposed to use, let me caution all my viewers that this episode is not an independent episode. All such viewers who have not watched my episodes 17, 18, 19 and 21, I would strongly recommend you to stop watching this, get back, watch those four episodes and then come back to continue watching this. And for those who have watched all those episodes, let's proceed and figure out which of these three would help me to solve this problem. Even before I tell you, which of these three maps I'm supposed to use. Let me first tell you the definition of a non-repeating character. Well, a non-repeating character is such a character whose value happens to be one. If you would carefully notice all the three maps, you would realize that there are five characters in the hash map whose values are one. Same is the case in the linked hash map. Same is the case in the tree map. But I am not supposed to print all of those five characters. Rather, what I am supposed to print is the first non-repeating character. So, what is a first non-repeating character? Let me tell you. The first non-repeating character is such a character whose value is one and comes first amongst the five characters. Well, that way, according to the hash map, P happens to be the first non-repeating character. Whereas in case of the linked hash map, Y happens to be the first non-repeating character and in case of the tree map, D is the first non-repeating character. But you know, in the beginning of this video, I have told you that in my input, Y happens to be the first non-repeating character, which goes to show that both the hash map as well as the tree map are misleading me because they hold the data in whatever order they want to hold they would give me a wrong answer in case I happen to use them to solve this problem. In other words, what I am supposed to do is to not use these two, rather go in for using the linked hash map. Well, this is what as a programmer you need to be careful about. While certain programs can permit you to make use of any of the maps, this particular program will certainly force you to make use of only the linked hash map because it is only this linked hash map which holds the data in the same sequence as that of the input string and this is the only one which gives me the right answer. Anyway, how does the program look like and what are the two changes that I need to make to my program? Let me explain. This is the program of my previous episode. This was such a program which printed all the non-repeated characters. 
what I am supposed to do is to print the first non-repeated character and as I have told you, two changes to this program would give me the answer to the current one. Anyway, what are those two changes? Well, you know the changes. Firstly, in this program, as you can see, I had made use of the hash map because I could make use of any of the maps in my previous episode. But just now you have understood that in this case, I am not supposed to make use of the hash map, rather make use of the linked hash map. So I would remove that code which was creating the hash map and bring in a linked hash map like this. Well, that was the first change. And if you'll ask me, what is the second change? Let me tell you, the second change is what I need to do inside this if condition. Well, the if condition was present inside the for each loop and the for each loop used to print all the non-repeating characters. Whereas in this case, I need to print only the first one. So the moment I print my first non-repeating character, there is no need for me to proceed ahead with the loop. So I would say system.exit and stop the execution of the program soon after I print my first non-repeating character. So that and this are the two changes that I need to make to the program of my previous episode in order to get the output for this. Anyway, when I'll execute, this is the output. Well, we have got the right output. So, I'm sure you've been able to understand this program and all that you have to do to gain more knowledge is to continue watching this series.